Good morning, welcome to Ask Coffee Online. My name is Chef Cesar. Today I want to show you how to make a stuffed pork tenderloin. I got two beautiful pork tenderloins here. This is one of the most tender cuts of meat uh, and pork. And there's good, I mean, you can cook it in many different ways. Today we're going to stuff it with some leeks, some uh, apricots, a little chipotle peppers. And uh, before I go, uh, I start showing how to prepare the pork to uh, put the fill in there. I'm gonna start uh, cooking some of my uh, some leeks here, and be careful when you uh, use leeks. I know we wash them before we uh, cut them up, but also you want to wash them after they cut because you're gonna see a lot of sand inside there, and it feels grainy. So you more likely there's gonna be some sand inside most of the time. So you wanna uh, wash them really good in the cold water, kind of soak them in, and and then use a strainer to make sure that all the sand is uh, it's gone. So I'm melting some whole butter here. And I'm just gonna sweat the, the leeks, kind of soften them up really nice. Okay. Okay. And when you're sweating the leeks, you don't wanna have the heat too high, because you only wanna soften the product. You wanna break down the fibers, that way they get a, a lot of flavor. If you uh, cook them long enough, they're gonna be nice and sweet, okay? So uh, you want to keep them nice and uh, kind of low. And keep an eye on them, especially when you're using a uh, whole butter. If you're not careful, it's gonna it's gonna uh, burn. There's a lot of milk solids in there, so I just wanna give you a heads up there. So we're gonna uh, let them go here for a while. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to butterfly our pork uh, tenderloin here. We wanna clean it first. Uh, I got my uh, bony knife here. I'm gonna take some of this uh, skin out of here. A little a little fat, a little silver skin. Some of this comes really easy here. Okay. Side. I'm gonna cut this, trim this piece down. And for the stuffing, I mean, uh, you can do anything you want, really. To, uh, you can do maybe like sausage or other meats. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different, uh, or just vegetables. There's a lot of different ways you can uh, stuff the pork with maybe some mushrooms. And I'm gonna make a, today a nice uh, orange sauce. It's gonna go really nice with a uh, nice sweet uh, leeks and apricots. Also, it's gonna have a little kick from the chipotle peppers. Uh, chipotle peppers are uh, uh, jalapeno peppers. They're uh, ripe, smoked, and they're put into a uh, adobo sauce, which is a tomato sauce with spices and some vinegar. And uh, it has a nice uh, smoky flavor too. So it's gonna uh, really Give the, the fish a nice uh, a nice flavor as well. And it won't be too spicy. You can you don't have to use uh, peppers if you don't want. I mean, you can uh, change uh, the recipe around, but you're gonna get the recipe as well. It's just an idea. I mean, we're looking more for the preparation techniques. Okay, so we're gonna get in there. Now we're gonna butterfly. I'm gonna cut a piece off the end because I want to have a nice and even here. You can save this for something. Okay. As you can see, this uh, there's not a lot of fat in this, so I want to butterfly this. Kind of put your knife. Okay. Be careful not to go through the other side. Then we're gonna pound this out to uh, about one quarter inch of thickness, and we do that to uh, kind of be able to put some stuff in there, and also it's, it's gonna cook quicker. Something like this, as you can see, it's very easy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Keep an eye on my uh, leeks. We just want to get them nice and soft here. I'm going to add some apricots here. You want to cut them maybe in half, quarters, apricots, little strips. I'm also going to add a little apricot brandy here, but you don't have to. If you don't uh, want to use any alcohol, that's okay. We can just uh, skip that. Okay. As you can see, you can be doing a couple of things at the same time, okay? So I'm gonna put this inside here. I'm gonna uh, put a little plastic uh, wrap over this so I can pound this 
you do this that way uh, you don't have meat flying around when you're like you know pounding the meat okay I got my meat mallow here be careful you don't want to pound it too hard you don't want to break the meat and the stuffing is going to fall out so you want to be careful that you don't uh, eat it too hard as you can see the meat is very uh, tender and uh, it doesn't take a lot And you can make this ahead of time, you know, the filling, the stuffing. Normally, I would like do it ahead of time and let it cool down. But since uh, we're kind of uh, crunching time, I won't probably have a lot of time to allow it to cool down. But you guys can make this maybe, you know, even the day before or so. And the same thing when you want to pork or stuff, you can uh, keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to, to serve it. So you can probably make this in the morning and uh, for dinner, and then you keep them, uh, you know, ready done, stuff, and then just... Uh, Cook them when the time, you know, when dinner time comes, or whenever the service time, could be uh, lunch or dinner. Okay. If you don't have one of these uh, meat mallets, uh, rolling pin works too. So. Attention back to the leaks here. I'm adding a little bit of this uh, chipotle pepper as well. Okay, this is going to add a nice kick to the stuffing. Okay, and like I said before, if you don't like spicy things, you can you know leave it off. You don't have to add it on there. Okay. And you can smell the vinegar in there once you, it's hitting up. Put a little caprica blender here. And be careful if you're using a, a gas stove, it's going to light up in, in the flames, okay? So this one's uh, electric and in uh, lit up the alcohol, but it's going to evaporate anyways. But at home, when you put the brandy, you're going to see the, it's going to catch on fire. So be careful, you want to stand back a little bit. You don't want to uh, burn yourself. Okay, so here we go. Also, I got a little uh, fresh thyme. I'm going to add this to the end. Add in a little salt here. A little white pepper. And this one smells really nice. You're gonna start, you know, getting a lot of aromas from the, the leeks, the sweet little vinegar from the peppers, a little spice in this. So it's a lot of uh, flavors going in there. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna just add my little fresh thyme at the end. Okay. You want to make sure to, you know, you try that before you put it on, in case you need a little more salt. It's really good. Okay. You can taste the thyme right away, all the freshness comes out. Okay. Normally at this point, you would like uh, let it cool down, but since I, you know, like we're doing this uh, live here and uh, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to start to like put some of the half of this into one of my pork tenderloin. See, this is, for, this is for two pieces. Normally you get two pieces in a package most of the time, but sometimes you're able to find their pack individually. So if you want to do that, but like I said, I, I, this came, I know, packaged in two pieces. So I want a little salt too, just to enhance the flavor. Okay. Pepper here. 
and it's got a nice kick to it. But you know, the sweetness of the leeks and the apricots kind of balances out. It's not that spicy, so and you can control the spiciness as well. So we're gonna put half of these. You can see there. Okay. It's back here. Now we're gonna. I got some uh, butcher twine here. We're gonna truss our pork here, otherwise it's gonna open up when we cook it. I mean, you don't have to, but I recommend doing it. Otherwise, when the, the meat cooks, it's gonna shrink, and that's gonna, you know, the stuffing is gonna fall out. So you gotta, you wanna truss this, okay? So we wanna fold this over here, okay? There you go. I might put your twine here. Start from the end here. There we go. What about three or four? Like this. This is going to help you to keep uh, the meat from falling apart and opening up when you're cooking this. And the stuffing is now going to come off. So, as you can see, one more here at the very end. Oops. There you go. Now at this point, I'm gonna sear the meat, but if you have a broiler at home, you can skip the step. I wanna make sure I get a nice color, a nice uh, flavor. As you know, when it's doing the searing process, where all the flavors are developed. So you wanna do that, uh, but again, if you have a broiler, you can just put it in the broiler and make sure you turn it, like, you know, turn it so it gets brown all the way. Uh, but I'm gonna sear this real quick to get nice, uh, nice color on the, on the meat. See all the juices and get a lot of flavor. We're gonna develop a lot of flavor. I got a little, you can you see the uh, olive oil, vegetable oil. I'm using a little avocado oil here for this, okay. Also, I'm gonna turn on my little broiler back here. Okay. Okay. Nice. And this piece being offered two servers, maybe two and a half, depending on how big you cut them. So if you have like two of tenders, you can initially get five servers out of there, if not six. If you want to go very small portions, you can, you know, get probably five to six portions out of there with that. I'm sure you want to add maybe starch or a little, I'm going to make a little salad today, but, you know, with the starch and the vegetable, it will, you know, be big enough. So we're gonna get my pan really hot here because we want to see this. It's gonna be a little smoke going on, but you know, can't really help it. You want to get the pan nice and hot. Otherwise, if you don't, the meat uh, it's gonna stick to the pan, and uh, you're gonna have a hard time. You know, it's gonna take a little while to get off the pan to you know come up to temperature. So you wanna. You get a pan nice and hot, but be careful. You don't want to get it too hot that, you know, comes to a flashing point where the oil catches on fire. You don't want that either. As soon as you see a little smoke, smoke starting to come up, you want to add the meat. Okay. I'm going to get this out of the way here. Okay. Make sure you wipe down your uh, cutting board with a towel, with a sanitizing solution, with some bleach and water, especially when you're using meat. Okay. 
remember following the sanitation procedures at home is very important even when you're cooking at home you know a lot of people tend to uh, believe that uh we can only get sick when we go out to eat you know in the restaurants but it could happen in our own home so we gotta always treat it with respect when we in our kitchen and always you know clean as we go and sanitize everything that we use okay See there? Like I was saying before, I'm gonna make some uh, orange sauce. I got some uh, orange juice here, some uh, orange uh, liqueur, a uh, little zest, orange zest. This has a lot of oils, uh, the zest, you know, the citrus roots, it's a lot of oils. So you wanna use that to really enhance the flavor of the sauce. I got a little cornstarch lure here, I'm gonna be using that. Some orange segments I got done. And some uh, shallots I'm going to be uh, using to make my sauce. And it's going to be a nice light sauce, no cream, no, a little lighter. Okay. As you can see, when the pan is really hot, the meat doesn't stick. It really just comes off by itself. So you want to make sure that the pan is nice and hot when you're searing any product, chicken or you know, meat. And this is going to develop a nice, uh, there's a lot of things going on, you know, a lot of flavors have been developed when the meat's brown like this. Okay, now I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to transfer this to my little uh, oven here that I got going here. And again, if you guys at home want to skip the steps, you got a broiler, you don't have to sear this meat like this. You just put it under the broiler, it's going to get a nice crust and a lot of flavors are going to develop. So I'm going to put this back in here. Okay. Okay. Now that I have my uh, meat going here, I'm going to Work on my sauce here. Wipe down my my area here, and you will see that making the sauce is very easy. Okay, you not. I mean, it's really simple. Uh, cooking is it's exciting. As long as you have everything ready to go, your mise en place ready, everything is like the actually cooking process. You can see it, it doesn't take very long. It takes uh, sometimes longer to prep to, to get everything ready. So uh, that's why it's so important to get to have everything set up before you actually start the cooking process. This way you're not you know, going back to get something that you forgot. And this is why we uh, stress that it's extremely important to have your missing plot set up before you start in any cooking preparation. So I got this little pan here. And uh, okay. I'm gonna make my uh, orange sauce. Okay. Water here. I'm gonna shred uh, my shallots here. And this sauce can also be made ahead of time. If you guys wanna do some work ahead of time, feel free. Uh, as, as you know, we do this a lot in the working in the, in the restaurant kitchens. Uh, we make a lot, I mean, we prep all the time. And uh, the more you have prep, the easier it is to you know, put the dishes out when it, uh, it comes time. So be careful again. You want to sweat the shallots real quick here. Okay. And the pork's going to take about 15 minutes to, to cook like that. So, okay. You want to uh, sweat them until they're nice and translucent. You want to bring all the flavors out. And we're going to strain them out of the sauce anyway. So I uh, want to have a nice and smooth sauce at the end. Now I'm going to add my uh, orange liqueur here. And you can add any kind of liqueur. If you don't want to add any, that's fine. 
I got some Grand Marnier here, but you know, you can add a different kind, something that's not, you know, it's expensive. That's all I had in my cabinet, but uh, it's uh, nice and flavorful. It's gonna give a lot of flavor. So you wanna reduce this down a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna add my uh, orange zest. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of sugar in there, and this uh, liqueur is going to be like a little uh, waste. You want to let it reduce down until you see that, and it's going to be like kind of syrupy. Then you want to add your uh, orange juice. This is fresh squeezed orange juice, but you can always get something already done. So we're going to bring it to the simmer. And over here, I made a little uh, cucumber salad. It's a pickled cucumber salad with some uh, peppers. What I did, I, I took some vinegar and sugar, and I'm gonna give you the recipe too. Uh, a little uh, sesame seeds, mustard seeds, and just kind of bring it to a, to a simmer. I uh, let it cool down, and I julienne my cucumbers and put it in there in the brine. It's gonna be nice and sweet. Uh, and this is something very refreshing. I'm not, you know, I don't have anything heavy to play this. I just wanna do something real light. I mean, sometimes you don't wanna you know, if you don't want to eat a heavy meal, there's, you know, with a few ingredients, you can make something very tasty. Like you're going to see me here, I'm going to, you know, play this little salad. I got some uh, watercress here. I'm gonna, it's going to go with my uh, pork. And some radishes that I slice here. And again, this is, uh, I mean, you can do other things. You can make mashed potatoes, rice. I mean, this dish goes with pretty much any starch. And you can do also a vegetable, like, you know, maybe some asparagus and some root vegetables as well. There's a lot of you know different things you can uh, serve with, your, with this dish, but I just kind of went with this little light uh, fare today. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pour it. Okay, it's gonna take a little longer for my pork to bake because uh, my uh, little oven back there is a little tiny. But you know, if you have a big oven at home. It's gonna, you know, probably take a little less. And I gotta set up at 450, so it's gonna, you know, really uh, cook rather quickly. And we're making the sauce. We want to reduce the, the oranges a little bit down. That way, kind of the flavors get, you know, nice and uh, concentrated. In the meantime, I'm gonna do this other pork tender too. That way, I'm not. I can use it for something else. Okay, so I'm gonna simmer this. So I told you I had two. I'm gonna prepare this might as well. Okay. Just in case you guys miss something. Okay. And you can make medallions out of this and grill them. I mean, there's so many different ways. You don't, you don't really have to stuff this. This, uh, I mean, you can do it in many different ways. You can uh, cook the whole piece like this and then slice it into little uh, medallions once it's done. But you know, I kind of opted to do a little something different. You want to take the silver skin off all the time because this one gets really tough when it cooks. As you can see, it's very easy to do this.
Keep an eye on my work back here. Sure, this game round really nice. I'm just gonna finish this up real quick that way. I can get out of the way real quick. Man, I'll take back. side now so I want to finish my sauce okay this is ready I can stuff this later on okay okay my sauce is going here I wanna I got my cornstarch lure here. I got a little cornstarch. You can use arrowroot as well to thicken up your sauce if you don't have cornstarch. It works as well. Make sure there's no dry powder in there, otherwise when it goes into the hot uh, sauce, it's gonna coagulate, it's gonna be like real lumpy. You wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Uh, it's really all wet and nice and runny like this. Otherwise, you put like dry cornstarch in there, it's gonna clump up and you wanna really thicken up the sauce. So. so we're gonna start adding a little And go slow, don't add too much at the same time because it's going to start to thicken up. You don't want to get it too thick. You can see, there you go. And make sure you keep whisking at the same time, otherwise uh, you want to incorporate uh, the cornstarch slurry with the rest of the sauce. Okay, and I'm gonna strain this in a little bit here. Okay. There you go. You can see that. I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm also gonna caramelize some uh, Orange segments here to uh, serve my pork here. Okay, I want to take a look at this back here. We'll make sure it's almost done here. You want to cook pork about 150, and uh, if you have like a, a stuff in it which is uh, not cooked, like the one I had here today, if you guys put like raw meat, you want to make sure you cook it to 160, 65. It depends on what's uh, the stuff that you have in there. You know, raw meats. In the middle, you know, they're gonna take longer. But this one, uh, since it's uh, everything inside, it's already cooked. Uh, so if you want to just have it to cook 150, that way it's nice and uh, and then moist and it's not overcooked and dry. So mm -hmm. okay, I got a little sugar here. I need a little plate. Put some of my orange segments in there. So I want to caramelize them. Put a little sugar down. This just for garnish. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
And I like to use a non-stick pan for this. That this way, you know, it won't stick and uh, it can be easy, easily clean. Okay. I'm gonna strain my sauce before I put it on the on the dish here. Oops. A little. So they have a lot of juice, so it's gonna take a little while for them to, you know, get a nice color on them. Meantime, I want to strain my sauce here real quick. Shut her off. The leftover heat is going to caramelize the other side. It's going to be a little smoky when you guys are burning sugar. So, but it gives her a nice uh, color and nice uh, flavor too. Okay, I'm not going to do all of it because it's going to take me too long. There's a little uh, tiny strainer, but I'm sure you guys have a bigger one. I didn't get my big one. So this is going to be nice. This is the texture of the sauce. It's nice and smooth. And uh, look at that. That's how it should be. Now I'm going to see if my pork is getting ready here. Okay. I'm going to take it out. Let her go. Okay. Let it rest for a little bit. You also want to make sure you let it rest before you cut it. Otherwise, if you cut it right away, you're going to see all the juices going all over the place. And I would want to make sure that uh, it rests for about five minutes. It might, uh, it might not wait that long, but uh, you guys at home can wait. And uh, that way you have all the juices in there. And you're not going to, you know, have it end up with a dry piece of meat. So, again, I'm going to let it uh, sit here for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to kind of start getting my dish ready. Uh, to serve my pork here. Okay. Remember, I mentioned I made some uh, pickle cucumbers. I got some uh, right here. Same thing, I got some uh, pickle red peppers. I'm going to drain some of this juice. Okay. They're nice and sweet. Okay. Like I said before, you guys can do whatever you want. You don't have to really follow what I'm doing here, but it's just an idea. I got a little radishes here. I'm going to put in the bottom layer. Some of these cucumbers in here, a little salad. Okay. Okay. 
And at the very top, some of this uh, fresh peppers. So you want to kind of layer the colors in there for presentation uh, purposes too, okay? And this is really nice, refreshing salad. It's really, you know, light. Okay. And I press them down so they kind of stay in place when I take the little mold out of here. Okay. The top one, I put some uh, watercress here. That's out of the way here. And this is a, nice, a living plant. It's got the uh, roots down there. Sometimes I'm, I'm able to find this in the supermarket close by us. That it will last a long time at home if you keep it like in a little water and a little package that comes back. It, you know, stays alive for a while. So I'm gonna put some of the salad on top here. It's very delicate. Okay. I see some of the liquid's gonna start to come on the bottom, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna try to uh, see if this is done. Okay. Okay. So I take the string out of here. Make sure that you remove all the string. You don't want to serve a piece of string with a real dish, okay? See, it's nice and juicy. The center should be nice and pink. Okay. I put a little sauce down here. You want to make sure you clean the rim of the plate really nice before the service should be nice and clean all the time. Okay. I'm also going to add my little uh, caramelized orange here between that. Yeah. Color 
here too. There you go. So it stays in place and you can see. Very nice and uh, easy to, to prepare this. I hope you guys enjoy today's uh, session. I'm looking forward to see you guys again next week. Uh, have a nice day and thank you for joining me.